YouTubers. How you diddling? Or aren't you? By the way, sorry for wearing sunglasses in the last uh, episode, so to say. Uh, it was a bit bright outside for me, and my eyes are a bit sensitive, so yeah, dark glasses. It was either that or squinty squinty, and uh, weren't good for me that. So anyway, moving on. Time to fit the tank pads on the interceptor. Let's crack on. Right then, let's crack on. And first of all, just to say that, uh, I'll just spin that around so I can see what I'm doing. Yeah, so normally I would do anything like this with some thinners. Um, but that's just standard thinners. Because this is a matte paint or a satin paint, I'm a little bit wary about whether I can uh, put ordinary thinners on it or not. Uh, even though it evaporates quick enough, you don't put masses on there. Uh, so today, I'm going to go in the wife's uh, drawer and steal a, a steel a nail varnish remover, which will do the same job. We'll be all right. I've just got to work out how to use it. So anyway, all we need this. Drop it a little bit, and we're just gonna rub it on around here and degrease the area basically. That's all we're trying to do, and it should evaporate. There you go, it's evaporating anyway. And then I'm just gonna turn my cloth over and get rid of it, it's all nice and clean. Back of your hand, if you do this anytime, don't refill it with your foot, uh, otherwise, you'll get greasy all over it again. Okay, so. Today we're putting on the Motone tank pads. If you've not seen the previous video, it might be worth going back and checking it between the uh, Motone and the Hitchcocks and the reasons that I chose it. So these are quite stiff, but they are flexible. So it's a matter of working out. See, this tank's got a, a nice curve to it just here, but it's also got a belly just here. So of course it'll, it'll rock side to side there and uh, it's all a matter of working out exactly where you want things. Now as far as I'm concerned about there I think. But I'm going to do it, put one side so far and then have a look at the other side and uh, judge it from there. And let's hope we don't cock it up eh? So just peel it back so you've got so much to work with. Get it eyeballed. You've got a fair bit of work time on these where you think you're going to want it. Just place it about right. Personally, I think, let's see, I'm more interested in it following this line than this line because the tank does slope forward slightly when it's on the stand. Uh, I'm quite happy at that actually. First, first tack on. We just uh, double check don't go pressing at it so you can move it about a little bit just to have a quick play yeah I think if I move it backwards or anything from there I'm not going to be quite as happy so best way to do it is literally just place it where you think you want it let's face it hopefully it's your bike and therefore your choice so about there yeah, quite a lot of that. So, I'm going to get hold of the rest of the little bit of sticky. And pull that off. And don't forget what I said, it's got a belly to it just here. But then it's a, a slow bend this way as well. So it's just a matter of making sure that when you've got it in the right place, that you're happy with it. And from what I understand with these, what you're better off, if you get it wrong, don't press it down too heavy. If you get it wrong, you have got some work time to be able to take it back off and put it back on again. Now, I've fitted these before, uh, but they have improved all sorts of things since. So, uh, all I'm doing is obviously just using my thumb across it. 
Uh, so long as you've got the first one where you want it, in my mind, you're better off doing it this way. You get it exactly where you want it. Here are all these bikes out enjoying themselves. Make sure that you've gone all the way around it. I used to fit all sorts of trim and things in the past uh, professionally but it used to be on cars <laughs> but it was a similar sort of thing so anyway once you're happy and you know you're going to be happy nice firm press and these are going to stick and within a few hours you're not going to be able to get it off and, and, and replace it uh, without sort of you know a lot of work but uh, that's one fitted quite happy with that so we'll move you around the other side and uh, I'll do a little bit of sitting on the bike and making sure that the level here is, looks the same from above and that I'm happy that it's about in the same place I mean let's face it you can only see one side at a time can't you but we want it right otherwise people like me who have been accused of having OCD uh, and I haven't it's one of these things where uh, we want to get it right but that was nice and quick to fasten it on there and uh, it's going to be just like the last one it's going to be a short video but wow I think that makes all, all the difference already to this side of the tank I quite like the looks of that pleased I went with that I was going to go Hitchcock's um, and Quite honest, I didn't fancy the idea of spraying glue onto me on, onto my tank. Anyway, on the other side. Okay. So, same thing again. I'm just going to put some of this. Not quite sure how this bloody thing works, but just going to put some of this degreaser on here oh, it's a brand new bike it's only done 300 miles or 385 or whatever so there shouldn't be that much on there should there but anyway that's that done same thing again what I'm going to do here is peel back the boys, well, they're on mine anyway, they left this little bit of paper that's sticking out over the top for you to peel back, so it makes it easy access. And the way to do it, if you peel it off so far, get it to the top, and then just, just let it rest back on there, because what you're after is about a third, a third of the way down, something like that. And then you just want to get it roughly in place where you think you want it, and uh, pop it on. Just like that, and then I'm going to move you back a minute, just while I have a look from the top, see what I think, see if it's in, in the right place, because if it's not, then it's going to bother me forever and a day. Okay, so I want to go forward a couple of mil. Uh, I think the line is about right. So that's all I'm going to do is just move it forward, just a couple of minutes. Come around the back of the camera, make it a bit better for me, or for you. You don't want to see my fat off, do you? Okay, so, gently off. And it's still better than the other one. Yeah, there you go. And just move it. Let's have a look. That was the problem, I went to move it a couple of mil and of course you can't see what you're doing when, you, when you've took it off. So, right, so I'll eyeball that side. Go eyeball the other side. Yep. Hmm, what do you guys think? The time that's down. I'm going to have that much gap underneath there as opposed to that much gap back on the bike this is one of those things where to me, right, I'm in the right place here I'm happy with that uh, 
Tell you what, it's not far off Bob on. <coughs> yep. It's always awkward because the shape of the tank is a bit awkward to see underneath. But I think I'm happy at that, so I'm going to give it a go and pull it off. I'm going to find a piece of paper wherever it is. There it is. If you get it wrong, you can always have another go, but uh, like I say, you've only got so much working time, Will. So just gently, 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 just in case you have got to pull it back off again. Yeah, I think I'm happy with that. One final check, he says as he walks in front of the camera. <coughs> Yep, yep, yep. Happy. Happy chap. Like I say, it's not rocket science, it's not hard work, it's more about getting it right, get it in the place that suits you. Because let's face it, everybody's bike's individual, by the time you finish doing bits and bobs to them. Hopefully you can hear me okay and there's no silly buzzing from the lights. Uh, it's clouded over outside at the moment so that's why I thought I'd bring you inside. Into Skeggy's man cave. That's it, so. Finally I'm happy. Move this over. Here we go. I think I'm more than happy with that. I don't think that's good enough for you. I say 12 to 15 hours is normally, I don't know whether it's changed, but it used to be 12 to 15 hours for these 3M glues to go off properly. Uh, whether they've altered the chemical side of things or not, I don't know. But that's not, uh, certainly not going to fall off, let's put it that way. That is me, one happy chap. There you go. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. And uh, I don't suppose really to be right and proper, being as at the moment we've got the Lextech exhaust and at the moment we've got the Lextech exhaust on the back with no baffles in. Is it going to be too loud in the man cave? What do we think? guys thanks for watching um, I just wanted to do an easy version of fitting these because people have got them all over the internet and for some reason they've drawn them out over God knows how long and it's not a long job sometimes they do give the impression that it's a really hard job and it's not it's not it's common sense and just take care on what you're doing and as usual in everything preparation is king so uh, I don't think I'm going to have any problems with them, they look alright. Um, I was going to go for the Union Jack ones but quite a few people, I think that's what changed my mind in the end really. Uh, a lot of people have gone for those but uh, yeah, Shadow is looking better. And uh, for those not in the know, this is the Royal Interceptor 650 uh, and this one is called Shadow. It's actually called, the, the model is called the uh, the Downtown Drag. But I think that relates to the paint scheme, not sure. Anyway, thanks for watching. Take care, ride safe, don't do it out and do. Bye. <laughs>